We are at the Southampton Boat Show for the UK debut of the gorgeous Arcona 50. Now the Arcona 50 is a classic performance cruiser, right? Yes. Yeah. And so ideal target market, who's, who's this boat for? Uh, so this boat is, uh, is the first boat for Arcona which has been on the spectrum is more designed for uh, short-handed blue water cruising, performance cruising. And so what sort of speeds uh, will she cruise at? I mean, I've personally been, uh, she does uh, around 28 apparent wind angle, um, around eight and a half to nine knots upwind. Off the wind, you're reaching double digits. Yeah, yeah but it's, it's completely poised um, all the way through the Arcona range, all designed to be sailed by two people very comfortably. Yeah, and comfort and luxury is, is the key there, I think. I'm really looking forward to getting down below and seeing yeah. what, what she's like. No. In terms of uh, depth of keel, what we're talking? There's three. Uh, this one has the standard keel, which is the deep keel, uh, 2.95. Then we have the standard, um, uh, sorry, the, the mid, which is 2.5. And, and then we have a shallow draft, which is 2.2. Wow, shallow draft of 2.2, nice. Yeah. So what we're we looking at money-wise for this sort of yacht? So uh, for this exact model, uh, electric uh, furling, in-boom, uh, sorry, electric head sail furling, in-boom fur in, in boom mast furling, bow and stern thrusters, north sails, main jib spinnaker, um, all the bells and whistles, yeah. as you see it right now, 1.3 million pounds VAT paid. UK Very good. VAT paid. So this is nominated for the European Yacht of the Year 2024. Let's get on board and check her out. Thank you very much, Simon. Pleasure. So just two minutes on the Arcona 50 and you can just tell straight away, this thing is absolutely beautiful. The, the finish is just, it's amazing. It's absolutely beautiful. So we'll start from the back, walk through and then go down below. Transom is just massive. This huge swim platform with a lovely set of ladders which just folds up it's really really nice enough space in here to put a, a pretty massive dinghy without goes without saying and this really cool setup basically just to keep the eyes off your messy bits let's say and it's really really nice huge transom nice and flush at the back this folds up obviously and it's held together with dynamos and here is you can see it's on electric ram so this is all automated and as we then step up into the cockpit, which is a piece of cake, good handholds everywhere. We've got a massive, massive twin helm station, both with carbon wheels and loads of space around here. We've got hydraulic selling gear for the backstays. So these are running up through a friction ring system on the top. Really, really nice. We've got the nice, I think this is an artificial teak deck. Really, really cool. A couple of little nice things here, the hydraulics for the backstays around there there's just so much space on this boat you know we've got here again what's becoming par for the course really the footrests for the twin helm system really really nice and just nice latches and finishes everywhere around where the um the hinges are and where your hands go into places it's all really nicely thought out gas locker twin locker only the two and a half kgs you could probably get five in there actually really really nice lashing system here if you want to lash yourself down you got the bilge pump there as well as we look here as well we've also got your furling lines and the likes running through textile clutches through friction rings keeping that weight down i mean this thing is a performance cruiser but with a massive level of comfort if we look at this bit of teak loads of space beautiful views right over this wonderful flush deck coach roof is so flush and the foredeck is just the same. Primaries, easy accessible from the helm. Secondaries could be if you wanted to. So the helm stations are basically floating so there's no sort of obstruction along here. Nicely, easy, easily locked wheels. This boat's all about being able to use easily. Huge chart plotters, Harkon electric winches. It's basically push button sailing at its best. The gunnels again, nice step on here. So when we're heeled over, We've got something to put our feet on. I think it's really important. So let's take a little wander further forward and see what we can find. As we move forward though, we see the main sheet track is dead central, as you would expect from a performance cruiser right at the end of the mast, which is fantastic. It's not really in the way of anything, which is unusual for a boat with this main sheet right in the middle of the boat. And a bunch of hatches and the legs here, which is easy to access. 
he says put a bit of weight on them. So again here, wet stowage in the life, we've got a life raft down there at the back as well. This all quite nice and nice, nice and neat, sorry. And what is really cool is all the deck hatches are lockable, which is cool. Rope bins on either side. The rope bins are really big, really huge, which is really important if you're actually going to do any proper sailing. Let's take a little wander further along this massive foredeck and see what we get. So obviously we've got a spray hood on this boat or a dodger, whatever you want to call it. This is pretty cool, it all flips up and the whole thing folds out if you want it or folds away flush if you don't want it. Really cool. Hatches all flush again and beautiful, beautiful decks. It's so flat, the hatches are flush, I've said a few times. It's really, really cool. So massive wide decks. As I walk forward, we've got the cleats which are again pop up so they go down flush so you don't stub your toes on them when they're not in use. Moving forward, jib cars and tracks are quite inboard. We've got a really tight sheeting angle here. This boat will sail into the wind, there's no question about it. Simon, who introduced the video, told us all about that. Tracks running back to the print, the primaries go through the hull. Really, really neat, it's really cool. This boat's actually got a self tacking option as well if we want to use that. So moving further forward, again more flush hatches. The coach roof comes down beautifully. And what's really cool is this little window here, just plowing light in the down below. It's absolutely beautiful. Around the mast foot, all of the hardware is hidden out of the way. It's just so nice to see. Huge rubber, obviously around there, sealing properties around the mast for the uh, keel step mast. Absolutely fantastic, fantastic boat. So running further forward, we've got two more of these Massive cleats here, which are obviously flush, nice and easy to use. And um, straight into the bow locker here. Let's see what we've got in here. The bow locker is absolutely massive. A four rung ladder taking you down to the bottom. Loads and loads of space. Chain lockers off to this side under here, so it's easy to access at all times. It's just, again, built by people who are used to cruising. That is a massive sail loft, even for a boat with sails of this size. So sailing wise and rig wise, again, we've got the, the Selden, Selden Furlex, the through deck. We've got the bow sprit here, which allows you to run your asymmetrical or your code zero from it. The mast on this boat is a Jean mast and it's on a main furl, which basically means that is a in boom furler. So you can have basically what you're getting out of the in boom furler is all of the performance from a traditional slab main that will furl away at the push of a button. Super piece of kit. The guys from Mainville have been doing it for years, they know what they're talking about. Rod rigging on this boat, three spreader rig. Beautiful, beautiful boat, built to last. Let's see what she's like down below. The tables, so comfortable. Down into a really big companion way which of course has this I don't exactly know how this works but it's been locked in place so I can't undo this the uh, companion way hatch slides up and down and it's got a lovely sort of rubberized plastic bit to the top so you're not going to stub your toes and bang it all nicely rounded edged it's it's typical of what you would expect from the yard absolutely beautiful B&G systems again as we go down which is brilliant and coming down below it just goes without saying this is stunning. Okay, so as soon as you come down aboard any arc owner, you will not be surprised to see absolutely beautiful woodwork and joinery. This is absolutely stunning. Corian, massive double sink as opposed to one sink. Two lids for one fridge, pretty cool. Three burner stove, oven, as you would expect from GN Espresso. So these guys are obviously taking over at the moment. They're doing really, really well. These catches are really cool. You put your thumb and they're really easy to use and they're like, so really, really nice. Soft closed doors. It's absolutely fantastic, the galley. It's, it's kind of everything you need. Storage up here, storage on here as well. More stuff, some polo mints if you want some. Oh, look at this, look. It's a neat touch. It kind of works. I don't know what it is. You just sort of put your hands in places and you think, oh, it doesn't there, it'll be there and it's there. You just know where everything is somehow. It's really cool. Saloon wise, big open expanse. I can see myself hanging out here, no problem. Pretty good. 
What I really love about this boat is there's nothing to bang your feet on. We haven't got bulkheads to stub your toes in. The, the walkways are wide, everything's big, everything's spacious. We've got a chart table here, it's a good size. The chart table itself takes a reasonable size chart, that's for sure. It's not forward facing, but do you honestly, do you really need that, especially with today's modern equipment, you know? Beautiful windows we can see out, see a lot of stuff going on, and again, more storage here. The boat's just absolutely littered with storage, actually. Really, really cool. So, I think we should move forward and have a look at the master cabin. No surprise to find a massive island berth in here with some wonderful lighting laying outside, looking at the sea around you, you know, it's in a sort of luxurious and sort of romantic sense. It's nice to look out and see the sea, but even in bad conditions, to be able to look around you, take a reference point and see if you're dragging anchor is fantastic. Access to the bilge, beautifully clean. More pull-out drawers here. If you can fit four fire extinguishers in a drawer, that classes as a big drawer to me. Well, it's cool, we saw it from the outside. It's a huge Lumar window. So, and so no owner's cabin will be complete without a heads. So going into the heads, the, the mirrors double up the storage and access to some of the water and plumbing and the likes. We've got two hanging rails, some, a lot of storage in here. And what's really cool is a big shower with a good ventilation system. With the shower itself has actually got a hard shower screen on there, which I think is really, really cool. And so moving further aft, We've got a second heads in here. Second heads is fantastic, as you'd expect. You've got a place to do whatever you want, a separate shower cubicle and all that as well. Moving aft, a lot of headroom still, as has been the case for everywhere on this boat. And definitely a, a nice comfortable two bunks. We've got access in here, I presume to the engine and the likes. I'm not gonna pull this apart because this, this vessel has been sold. So on the other side, so moving to the port side, we've got the same thing again, exact replica. Uh, yeah, really, really cool. So port light windows in there and good ventilation up to the cockpit sole as well. And again, Lumar windows up above. Massively airy boat. Massively airy boat. So all in all, the Arcona 50 is absolutely fantastic. It's full of bells and whistles and is without a doubt one of the most beautiful boats that I think you're likely to find these days, especially if you want something which is going to sail well, perform well and take you anywhere in the world. The boat itself is absolute luxury and performance. There's, that, without a doubt, absolutely fantastic piece of kit. So that's it for a sail up of this episode. We've got a whole bunch of extra testing and the likes of reviews coming from the Southampton Boat Show, which is where we're at right now. So do keep an eye out for those things coming up and coming episodes. Do like and subscribe us to keep the channel running. It really, really does help us. And we'll see you next time.